Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another gold making video. I've been getting a lot of people asking how to set up the TSM add-on to help with different aspects of gold making. So today we're going to go through some basic settings to get you started. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we even head into World of Warcraft, there's a few things we need to do. First of all, you'll want to go to this website, download the TSM desktop application and create yourself a free account. Once you've loaded the desktop application, it will look something like this. Now, as you can see, I have a number of realms listed here, but yours will be empty for now as we need to set these up in a moment. But first, you need to point the application to your WoW install folder. To do this, click on settings, then find your WoW directory. Here, you can also select the realms that you wish to get data for. So for now, just select your main realm. You can have up to 10 realms selected on the free version of TSM and after that you'll need to upgrade to the paid version, but for now just one realm will be fine. Once you've selected your realms, just click done. And now we're going to go to our preferred add-on installer, for me this is CurseForge, and we're going to search for the Trade Skill Master add-on and install it. Now we're going to head into the game and open up our TSM settings. You can do this either with the minimap icon or by typing forward slash TSM. And as you can see, this will open into the TSM dashboard. We will ignore this for now and first get some basic groups and operations set up. So we're going to click on groups here and we have a base group on the left hand side. This is where we're going to create groups of different items that we can assign to different operations. So, for example, we'll create a group called Mounts. Now, as you can see, it will show us items that are in our bags on the left here, and then the items we have assigned to the group on the right. So what we want to do now is add items into the group that we want to create auctioning operations for. So for example, as this is a mount group, we will add in Golden Mains Reigns. So what we do is just click on Base Group, and in this search bar, we type Golden Main, which will bring up the item just here. And then we simply click on the item, select our mounts group at the bottom, and then press Move. Now if we click on the mounts group, you will see that the Golden Mains Reigns has been added to our grouped items on the right. And now we simply do this for all sellable mounts within the game, and move on to creating more groups for different items. Just so we have another example, we'll create one for War Within Materials. Okay, so I've created the group and added a couple of items in there as an example. So now we're going to look at what to do with these groups, and that is in the Operations tab. As you can see in here, we have a few different operations on the left hand side. The one we're going to focus on in this video is Auctioning Operations. This is the main one that you will be using, as it will help when buying and selling items on the auction house. So we're going to click on the plus button next to Auctioning Operations, and add an operation for Mounts. We will also add one for materials as well. I will explain the reason for setting different operations in a moment, as it will start to make sense once we look at the options here on the right. We're going to be creating the operation for mounts first, so in the details tab we just leave all of these options as they are for now, as we will come back to this in a moment. The one we want to focus on for now is the posting tab. Auction duration I like to set to 48 hours, this means that all of our auctions we post for items in this group will go onto the auction house for 48 hours. In post cap we will select one. This means that we can post one of these items on the auction house at a time. This is crucial when selling things like mounts or transmog as we don't want to be posting multiples of these items. When it comes to creating the operation for materials however, we'll want to set this to 50,000 and the auction duration to 12 hours. Amount kept in bags will always be set to zero, and don't post after this many expires will also be zero. This will be the same for all of your operations. Set bid percentage will always be 100%. Again, this is the same for all operations. In undercut amount, we will always have this set to zero copper. It is pointless setting an undercut price, as the way the auction house works now is the last item in is always the first item out. So by undercutting, you're just eating into your own profits. 
It's always best to just post at the same price as the last person as your auction will always sell first anyway. Now the next few sections will be different for all operations. In minimum price, for transmog and mounts we'll want to have it set to something like this. And for materials, something like this. Then it will be these for maximum price. I will add these strings into the comments section below so that you'll be able to just copy and paste. On the cancelling tab you want to have both of these set to yes and the repost threshold to one gold. This means that when you run a cancel scan at the auction house it will allow you to cancel both items that have been undercut as well as items that you can potentially cancel to post at a higher price. So now we have some basic auction operations created. Let's go back to the details tab. This is where we can now assign operations to our groups. So you just click on apply operation to groups and select the group that it relates to and press select. This will now be attached to that group and will work when we visit the auction house. The final thing we're going to look at in this video is shopping operations. So let's create a shopping operation here. We're only going to create one of these for all groups with the following settings. Maximum auction price is just DB market. Show auctions set to yes. Maximum restock quantity zero. No sources, no faction realms and no characters. Then we will just apply this to all of our groups the same way as we did for our auctioning operation. This is now some very basic settings for TSM. All it is left to do is add the items into our groups. Obviously there's hundreds of thousands of items within World of Warcraft so this can of course take quite a long time. If you want to have all of this done for you and a full list of groups and operations that you can simply import as well as an amazing guide on how you can flip items across realms then head over to Goldcapped on the link below and check out the written retail flipping guide or the retail flipping course. These are amazing guides and the TSM operations will save you many hours and will help you earn a lot of gold. You'll also find amazing gold making guides from the best gold makers in the game and you can get 10% off by using the code GOG10 at the checkout. That does bring us to the end of the video for today though. If you did enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time.